Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN review. Today I'm going to take a look at Bionic Commando Rearmed, which if you've never played it before is basically a remake of the NES game and it's a kind of action adventure platformer. Probably best off just showing you it though. So anyway, at the start you've basically got the new game, the challenge rooms, I'll show off one of them. The multiplayer, it's two player co-op and you've also got a versus mode so I'll show that. Database is just database stuff. Health and options, obviously you can view, like, view controls, settings. Scoreboards and medals are just simply scoreboards and medals. So anyway, going to go into the game now. I'm not going to play the co-op mode because personally I don't think it's actually very good. It's one of them games that, while I like co-op, they probably should have left it out. Anyway, this is the uh, map screen. Just a quick explanation. The white areas are areas you have to go to to kill some enemies. The black areas are white areas that you've already beaten. The red areas basically house power-ups and stuff because you hold them. And the grey areas are red areas that you've already been to. Uh, there's also them little purple trucks that you might be able to see, so I'll show one of them off because the gameplay changes completely when you do that, and it's kind of like that other Capcom PSN game, that Wolf of the Battlefield or something. can never remember the name of it, probably because I don't actually own it. So, anyway, this is the main part of the game, this is pretty much what you're going to be doing the entire time. You've got to go around these platforms, you've got the hook that you can, well, hook onto things, you can, like, swing about and try and climb the platforms. You've got a standard weapon at the start, which is your little pistol, the revolver, but you can actually gain upgrades. You can gain other weapons like the bazooka, you can get a plasma rifle, you can get grenades and stuff like that. And uh, then, as well as the platforms and killing the enemies and getting up to the bosses, you can find these things. Basically, these are the computers. You can contact your HQ and they'll give you some information, so that's pretty damn cool, because that can sometimes help you out. And you can also hack into the enemy network, which is a kind of little mini game, which is what I'm going to show you now. Because that basically gives you hints and tips on how to beat the bosses. You can use the analogue to move it around properly, or you can just skip it up by using the D-pad. Whole point is, whatever direction the camera's facing, the ball will travel in that direction. And then you just push X to move it. And the whole point is, you've got to move the ball around to try and hit the uh, green box. And if you do that, then you're successful, you hack the enemy database, and you'll well basically spy on one of their conversations and find out little hints and tips about how to beat one of the bosses so because I don't want to spoil it, like show any spoilers off or anything I'm just gonna skip past this very quickly so there we go then upon completing that you get these little power up type things so that's pretty damn cool uh, quick thing I'll just mention while it's on the top left of the screen that's basically your energy bar you want to be on the lookout for energy when you need it obviously you can also collect some extra lives that are hidden around the levels they'll just like basically be little well, 8-bit computerised little pictures of the main character. So anyway, I've shown off the main part of the game, so now I'm just going to cut onto one of the uh, trucks, because as I say, the gameplay changes completely there, and personally, I think it's a very fun mode. So here we go then, the whole point of this mode is you've got to go around basically trying to survive your way up until the end of the level, which is just like you keep going straight, there's no left or right really or anything like that, and then you've got to destroy the weapon at the end, and once you do that then you beat one of the trucks and you go back to the map. So as I say, it's a pretty cool mode and it's just a shame that these missions aren't actually longer or anything because as you've seen there, it took what, 15 seconds to do that? And when you get like the bazooka and other things, you can destroy it in one hit so it's even faster. But anyway. Just going to quit out now, just simply because I did see I'd show off one of the multiplayer modes. So while it's loading, I best shut up just in case we need to cut it. So here we go then, this is the deathmatch mode. You can play it with four people. There's uh, three different modes to play. There's basically standard deathmatch where you have to kill people. Last man standing, where obviously you have to be the last man standing. And don't touch the floor, where basically you have to just swing around and you're not allowed to touch the floor. There's also 10 multiplayer maps to actually play this on, so there's quite a lot there to do for, what, £7 I think the game is overall, although it might have changed by the time you're viewing the review, you've got absolutely tons of things for that short, like, small amount of money, so it's a pretty damn cool thing about the game. i uh, going to cut into one of the challenge modes now though, because I did say I'd show them off, they're just basically, well, challenges really. So here we go then, this is the challenge mode, there's uh, 56 challenges overall and this one, the whole point is you've just got to get your timing right and get to the end of the level and depending on how well you do, depends on what your, well, what your score is and that, so as you see there it says your time limit, best time, world ranking if you want to submit that, it gives you a star rating and, and that's pretty much that then, so the challenges as I say, they're all sorts of different things, there's basic swings, there's uh, warming up, crescent climbing, just stuff like that. 
and uh, that's pretty much that then. Although you may actually be wondering what you're actually doing in the game, what the whole point of the story is. Basically, you've been sent in as this like get amazing commando to rescue one of the veterans, Super Joe. No, not him, although he is pretty damn super, you must admit. So anyway then, that's the review, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe to my videos, there'll be plenty more on the way. Don't forget to check out my channel also, and this has been Damon212, signing off.